Hi everyone, welcome back to another exciting episode of Self Talk Show, the podcast where we dive deep into the inner workings of your mind and help you level up from the inside out. I'm your host Mitali Uhuri and God, I have missed you guys. But more than that, I think I owe you all an apology, don't I? I'm sorry for ghosting for almost a month, but let me tell you something, I have been working on something good really good something that's going to help you all in a really impactful manner so stay tuned today we are exploring a topic that shapes the way we live love and lead i'm talking about empowerment it's the driving force behind our confidence decisions and the impact we have on the world around us but let me ask you a question are you an empowered soul what does it really mean to be an empowered soul? Well, do you picture someone who's unstoppable, confident and owning every space they step into? Well, you're not wrong. But being empowered goes much deeper than that. It's about a mindset, a way of life and how you show up for yourself and others. So let's break this down piece by piece. So who is an empowered soul? An empowered soul knows that true strength comes from within. They don't seek validation from the outside world. Instead, they trust themselves, their choices and their journey. And here's a big one. They don't compare themselves to others. Hmm, why? Because empowered souls understand that every person's journey is unique. There is no race. No competition. It's all about personal growth at your own pace. Let me ask you this. Do you find yourself comparing your progress to others? Whether it's your career, relationships or even your body. We all fall into the comparison trap sometimes. Or most of the times. But empowered souls know that their path is theirs alone. And they celebrate their own progress without looking sideways. One of the most beautiful traits of an empowered soul is their ability to celebrate others' success without feeling threatened or envious. They understand that someone else's win doesn't take away from their own journey. In fact, empowered souls find joy in others' victories. So next time you see someone achieve something great, whether it's a friend, co-worker or even a stranger, take a moment to celebrate with them. Give them that genuine appreciation that, wow, I'm so proud of you. And watch how that mindset shifts your own energy. Empowered souls lift others up because they know there is more than enough success to go around. Now let's talk about something we often shy away from, our weaknesses and insecurities. Empowered souls are confident, yes, but they are incredibly self-aware. They know their strengths, but they don't ignore their weaknesses. Instead, they face them head on. Being empowered isn't about being perfect. It's like looking at your insecurities, owing them and deciding to improve rather than letting them hold you back. If you have been feeling insecure about a certain area of your life, ask yourself, how can I turn this into a strength? Start working on it immediately. Whether it's through learning, seeking support or practicing self-compassion, empowered souls take steps to improve rather than letting insecurities dictate their actions. Now, confidence isn't about being the loudest person in the room. It's about trusting yourself. Empowered souls don't need external validation because they have built an inner foundation of trust. They believe in their ability to handle whatever comes their way. And that's the real magic. Knowing that no matter what happens, you will figure it out. So let me ask you this. Do you trust yourself? If not, it's time to start building that trust. Empowered souls often take calculated risks make decisions and trust in the outcome even if things don't go always according to the plan. Every time you make a decision, own it. Tell yourself, I trust myself to make the right choice. 
even if it doesn't turn out perfectly you will learn and grow from it and that's what matters another hallmark of an empowered soul is they never stop learning empowered souls are always looking to grow and not just internally but also externally whether it's learning a new skill reading a book or challenging themselves in their career they are constantly evolving so here's a challenge for you what's one skill or area of knowledge you have been curious about maybe it's something completely unrelated to your work or daily routine like painting coding or learning a new language empowered souls don't stay stagnant they upskill and open themselves to new possibilities perhaps the most beautiful thing about being an empowered soul is empowered souls empower others they lift others up offer guidance and help them see their own potential they are mentors cheerleaders and supporters to the people around them because they know that true power is shared not hoarded so who in your life can you empower whether it's through a kind word some advice or even just listening to someone who needs support take a moment today to empower someone else because when we empower others we strengthen our own sense of empowerment too all right beautiful souls so let's quickly recap some strategies to step into your most empowered self number 1 master your self talk empowered souls have an internal dialogue that uplifts them If your self talk is negative, it's time to flip the script. Replace I can't with I can, and I'm not enough with I am more than enough. Number 2. Own your journey. Stop comparing yourself to others. Your journey is unique and that's your superpower. Number 3. Celebrate others. Genuinely cheer for others' success. It doesn't take away from your own. Empowerment is about abundance. not scarcity number 4 work on your weaknesses empowered souls aren't afraid to admit where they can improve take ownership of your growth whether it's personal emotional or professional number 5 keep learning never stop expanding your mind and skills pick up that hobby you have been putting off or challenge yourself to learn something new number 6 trust yourself Confidence comes from trusting your decisions. Practice trusting yourself more each day even when things don't go as planned. Number 7, empower others. Find ways to uplift the people around you. When you empower others, you create a ripple effect of positivity. So, there you have it. A deep dive into what it means to be an empowered soul. And I will leave you with an exercise to reflect on your own empowerment. So here it is. Write down 3 areas in your life where you feel empowered. Next, write down one area where you don't feel empowered yet and brainstorm 3 steps you can take to regain control. Lastly, find someone in your life to empower this week, whether through a kind word, support or simply being present. Remember, empowerment isn't a destination, it's a journey. and it's a journey that begins with the conversations you have with yourself well that's it for today's episode my empowered souls go out there live with confidence trust yourself and be the light that helps others shine too if you found this episode valuable share it with someone who could use a little empowerment in their life and as always stay tuned for more episodes of self talk show until next time Stay empowered, stay inspired, and keep that inner dialogue working in your favor. Thank you.